All right, you guys, so welcome back to my channel. I want to go ahead and review the new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Set and Spray. Um, I'm so excited for this because I do have their primer, of course. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like, but I do have their primer, and I absolutely love this when it comes to my makeup. So when they said they were coming out with their set and spray, I was so excited, and y'all, like, I opened it yesterday. And this is what it looks like. Like, look at the color. Look at that. I'm just so ready to go ahead and test this out and see if it really, you know, works for the skin. So if you're interested, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and let's jump right to the video. Now, before I go ahead and jump right into it, I do want to show you guys the packaging up close so y'all can get a really good feel of it. But I love the blue color. And I do notice that the blue and the green kind of separate. So I will shake that up because I do think you need to shake it up before you spray it on your face so this is what it looks like once it's all shooken up um but i do want to read the claims on the back of the box as well because i don't know what it really claims to do for the face but i just love their primer so i just picked it up now on the back of the box it claims to be a shot of blue agave extract that forms an invisible layer to grip and set makeup all day so you can use that as a primer and as a setting spray i do believe so what I may do is just use it as a setting spray because, to be honest, I don't use setting sprays as primers. But regardless, I will use their primer instead. Um, but on the back, it does say that it has cannabis, of course, aloe, and hyaluronic acid to help hydrate and refresh for blissed out skin. Um, oils from the hemp-derived cannabis seed and Moringa, I believe is how you say that. Um, seed boosts hydration and lock in moisture. And it's also alcohol free. So, yeah. All right. So, what I'm going to do first is prime my face. I want to use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer all over. But in my T zone, because y'all know I'm super oily, okay? I'm going to use my Canon Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. So, I'm just going to take one pump of the primer because a little bit does go a long way. I'm just going to apply this all over the face, but you guys pretty much know how this primer works. It does have that sticky formula to it, but I kind of like it at the same time. Um, but it really does help to keep your makeup on all day. And now I'm going to go in with the Kanan Austin, of course, in my T-zone. And I do need more because I'm running out. I'm just going to apply this in my T-zone because that's where I get super oily. So my skin is prepped and ready to go and I know you guys are probably wondering when I'm going to use a setting spray. So typically I use a refreshing setting spray after my bronzer before I apply my highlighter and all of that. That way my skin, you know, kind of settles with all the powder. So I will use it then and then also after the whole routine as well. But for now I'm going to do my foundation concealer and all of that. It will be kind of sped up a little bit just because I know y'all want to get to the good stuff so I'm not going to waste your time. But for foundation, I'm using my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in the shade 5N. To bronze my face, I'm using the Juvia's Place Multi-Purpose Foundation Stick in the shade Cutsina. And for concealer, I'm using my Path McGrath Concealer in the shade MD22. So I'm just blending this into the skin just to add a little bit more color to the face. And y'all, like, I don't know what it is, but I love when my hair is pulled back. I feel like it just looks so chic. I don't know if that's a word, but let me know because when I was younger, I swear my head was way too big to be pulling it back because I thought I looked like a boiled egg, but now I'm like, it's not so bad. Anyways, I just hope you guys can relate to that. And of course, to set my under eyes, I'm using my Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Kanafa. So only one more step and then I'll go in with the setting spray, but I do want to bronze my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer in the shade Tan all over just to add a little bit of color to the face. I really don't need too much, but I still want to add a little something as well. 
Okay, so time for the fun part. I do want to read the directions on the back of the box before I do use the setting spray. And it says to shake to mix and activate the formula. Use as a setting spray to lock in your look after makeup application. Hold bottle 8 to 10 inches away from the face and all of that. Um, allow formula one minute to absorb and set your makeup. When the midday slump hits, reapply for an instant refresh and a boost of hydration. So you can use this throughout the day, but honestly, once my face is locked in, I'm good to go. But what I'm going to do is shake it up, of course, because the green and the blue is kind of split up right now. So I do need to shake it to activate the formula. And I kind of want to see how the spray nozzle works because sometimes they are super strong okay so it's light and airy which is good so now let's set the face okay okay so even though i sprayed my face so much it doesn't look drenched let me just fan it for a second but it doesn't look like i really sprayed anything Okay, I don't know, we'll see. I kinda like this so far because my face doesn't look wet like it typically does, because y'all know I overspray all the time. But I will say it adds a nice glow so far to the skin, which I really like. So let me come up close and show you guys what my face looks like. It got rid of all the powder on my face, which I really love, but y'all, I I really like this because typically, for example, when I go ahead and spray my face, y'all, I'm telling you it is drenched. This adds like a nice mist to the face, some glow, but everything looks settled. Like the powder settled and all of that. And it just looks beautiful, okay? But what I'm gonna do now is finish up the rest of my face off camera and I will come back to spray it one more time and then we'll do our wear test. But so far, first impressions, I love it because typically around this part of my makeup application, I can just tell how the setting spray is gonna work. But y'all know I have oily skin, so I wanna see what it looks like throughout the day. But so far, I love it. All right, so I'm back and this is my completed face. So what I'm gonna do now is set my face again. I'm using the Milk Makeup Setting Spray, of course, because I did apply highlighter and blush and I want everything to be settled on the skin. So I'm just gonna shake this up and then spray it all over. I don't need too much this time because the first time, y'all know I sprayed way too much, but just a little bit. Okay, so now that I've used the setting spray twice now, this is what my face looks like. I really do believe that it sets the makeup really nicely, gives you a nice glow, and those are my first impressions so far. So what I'm going to do is just go about my day, of course, and after a couple hours, I will be back because I don't feel like you need like eight hours to figure out if it's a good setting spray. Like right now, I'm telling you, first impressions, I love it so far, but because it is a radiant, you know, set and spray i do have oily skin so i want to see if that affects it throughout the day so with that being said um i should be back probably in the afternoon four or five o'clock currently right now it is 11 46 so only a couple more hours and we should be good to go so yeah all right you guys so it's currently four o'clock right now so i think it's been about five hours five hours plus um and this is what my face looks like you guys i am really really impressed because i just knew like part of me just knew that i was gonna be a grease ball but i will say with this it gives you a very healthy glow to the skin um and i love that because i mean this is a look that i'm always going for but i don't want to be greasy if you know what i mean and even though i do love the glow i love the fact that it does settle all the powders on my face as well so my skin just looks very skin like and i just love this look um what i think i'm gonna do in my typical day is still go ahead and use this between um my makeup routine so basically after my bronzer routine and then after as well but to set everything i'm going to use my airbrush flawless setting spray because this locks in my makeup as well and i just feel like these two together it's just gonna be unstoppable. So if y'all are asking me if I recommend this setting spray, is it a game changer? I do believe it is because it's just a very light mist on the face. Um, it just melts your makeup together. It looks beautiful and I don't look greasy. Like it's been five hours y'all and I just look glowy. 
okay? I'm excited. But with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did because I've been wanting to try to send a spray um, and it just lived up to the hype. So I'm really happy about that. But let me know your thoughts down below. Um, if you do have it, please let me know your thoughts as well. But I love you guys so much. Make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.